Can the collapse of the US dollar happen overnight? What if Project Sandman, despite being deemed a conspiracy theory, has enough truth to it to be a real strategy? What if the world is truly fed up with the control that the USD has over them and decided to fight back? Welcome back to the Red Pill Pro, where we discuss, discuss world financial news and its connections to crypto and digital assets. Project Sandman is a hypothetical scenario that describes the potential collapse of the US dollar and its replacement with a cryptocurrency based financial system. The scenario envisions a future in which the US government's excessive borrowing and printing of money lead to hyperinflation, causing a massive devaluation of the dollar. In this scenario, the US government is forced to default on its debt, leading to a cascading effect of bankruptcies and financial crises. As a result, people lose faith in the US dollar, and it loses its status as the world's reserve currency. With the dollar no longer the dominant currency, a new financial system based on cryptocurrencies emerges. If the US government continues to print even more money money to finance its budget deficit, it can lead to a situation where the value of the dollar falls significantly via hyperinflation. This can make it more expensive for the US government to borrow money, as lenders will demand higher interest rates to compensate for the increased risk of default. In addition to hyperinflation and debt default, Project Sandman also envisions a scenario in which a large number of countries agree to stop using the US dollar for international trade and transactions. If a significant number of countries agree to stop using the US dollar, it could lead to a global shift towards alternative currencies, including cryptocurrencies or CBDCs. This could further accelerate the decline of the dollar and lead to a new era of financial and economic power dynamics. Currently, the US dollar is the dominant global reserve currency, accounting for over 60% of central bank reserves and 40% of global transactions. This gives the US significant economic and geopolitical power, as it can use its currency as a tool of diplomacy and influence. However, if a large number of countries decide to shift away from the dollar, it could lead to a significant decline in demand for the currency, causing its value to fall. This would make it more expensive for the US government and companies to borrow money as lenders would demand higher interest rates to compensate for the increased risk of holding US dollar. If a significant number of countries agree to stop using the US dollar, it could lead to a global shift towards alternative currencies, including cryptocurrencies or CBDCs. This could further accelerate the decline of the dollar and lead to a new era of financial and economic power dynamics. The fall of the US dollar and the adoption of cryptocurrencies could lead to the development of central bank digital currencies, CBDCs. CBDCs are digital versions of fiat currencies issued by central banks. They are designed to be more efficient and secure than traditional currencies and to provide greater control over the money supply. But unfortunately, I think we can see that the potential for government control over our money and spending is the real goal for the adoption of CBDCs. The potential adoption of CBDCs and the fall of the US dollar is a complex and uncertain scenario. While the US dollar is still the dominant global currency and cryptocurrencies are still relatively new, there are signs that the financial system is evolving. As more countries explore the possibility of CBDCs and more people become comfortable with cryptocurrencies, it is possible that the financial system could shift towards a more decentralized and digital model. While these kinds of conversations still lie squarely in the category of conspiracy, recent events seem to be giving more credence to this kind of wild conjecture. BRICS nations moving away from the USD with new agreements between Brazil, Russia, China, and Saudi Arabia are only becoming more frequent. The Kenyan president, William Ruto, warned his citizens in March 2023 that the USD was not safe, although the army of big tech fact checkers quickly tried to spin this another direction. None of us know when, not if, the USD will fall out of favor. Until then, we can only prepare while living our lives. Banks will not be safe. Stocks and bonds will be worthless. As for me, 
I am confident that we still have a long time to prepare. Digital assets with real use cases, specifically related to data and financial services, are my big hedges against a nightmare scenario. Of course, there are other ways to protect your financial interests in these times, such as with self-custodied gold, silver, and other very important precious metals, such as platinum and even lead. Boxes full of lead, so continue to learn and always take the red pill.